Hi guys, I'm your host, Zilox. First of all, sorry for the late upload. Actually, my channel got second community guideline strike. I was unable to upload videos for two weeks. In today's video, we are going to install Black Arch Linux on our system. Black Arch is an Arch-based Linux operating system, mainly designed for ethical hacking and penetration testing. The commands in Black Arch Linux are little different from Debian-based Linux. For example, in Kali Linux, we use APT for updating and upgrading our packages, but in Arch Linux, Pacman is used for updating and upgrading, which is a manual process. Personally, when I installed Black Arch, I ran command for updating my packages, but it asked me a lot of things and I also got a lot of errors. I got fed up and quit, but it was my personal experience. Maybe you will like it when you use it. Now, that's enough talk. Let's start now. First, we have to download the ISO file for our Black Arch Linux. Open up Black Arch website in your web browser. You can simply search it or use the link provided in the description box. Now move to the download section and scroll down. Now here, you can see three different ISO files. First ISO file is named as Full Black Arch, with the size of almost 22 gigabytes. This ISO files has almost 3,000 tools and offers a complete GUI installation. Next ISO file is Black Arch Slim. It is the ISO file which we are going to use. Download this ISO file in your system. In the next step, we have to flash this ISO image to our pen drive. For that, we will use Ventoy. Ventoy is available for Windows, Linux, as well as Android. I am using this because it is available for Linux. You can use any other software like Rufus or Belena Etcher. For installing Ventoy, navigate to this website by the link provided in the description. Now download this file from here. After complete download, unzip this. You can use both GUI and CLI method for unzipping. I am using a GUI method. After unzipping, you will see a new directory. Move to this directory. Now execute this file to run Ventoy. And here you can see our Ventoy. Now get a pen drive of 16 gigabytes or more and plug it into your computer. Here you can see that I have plugged in my pen drive. Now click on install button down here to install Ventoy on your pen drive. Now wait for some time. And here you can see that Ventoy has been installed on my pen drive. Now just open your file manager and copy the downloaded file into the pen drive. After the copying process completes, plug out your pen drive and you are ready to go. Now restart your PC and press boot keys of your PC to enter boot menu. Sorry for the low quality because I am recording this video with my mobile. Now plug your pen drive and select boot from USB option here and you can see that our Ventoy is loading and you can see our Black Arch ISO file. Now select this option and press enter. After that, press enter again and in the next step, press enter for the last time and you can see that our Black Arch is loading. After complete loading, enter the default password for the Black Arch Linux, which is Black Arch. After loading the desktop, you can see an icon in the left side of screen, click on it and enter password. Now, first of all, it will check your internet connection. If you don't have internet, don't worry, just click on next button in the bottom corner. Now it is asking us to set time zone. Set your time zone and press enter. Now set your keyboard layout and press enter. After that, select manual partitioning and press enter. Now select on each partition and delete them one by one. Now create a partition of 500 megabytes with the free space. Select the file system FAT32 and mount it with boot. After that, create a partition of your preferred size. I am choosing one gigabyte size and mount it with Linux swap. Now with the remaining space, create a new partition with file system ext4 and mount it with root. After that, it will ask you to enter your username and password, fill all these information and press enter to install Black Arch on your system. I can't show you the installation process here because it will delete all my data. After installation, you can use U Black Arch Linux normally. Here ends our topic today. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Stay safe and stay blessed. Thank you.